back, everyone. I am Error, and I am ready to keep playing some Dark Souls. So, I played a little bit between the last time I recorded and this time, just because, for whatever reason, I had it in my head that since we killed the track, uh, we had to get enough souls um, to absolve ourselves. Um, I don't think that actually affects us since he was a PvE character, though. So, I'm just gonna go... Um, as is, because it's like 8,500 souls to absolve ourselves, and I don't think it's going to affect the rest of the game, so you do it if you want, but eh, I'm not going to. Um, but anyway, one thing that I was doing, um, I was just sort of going through and killing random enemies, I decided to go back and fight those uh, two uh, black knights. Um, so the one in Undead Burg, um, unlocks a pathway to get this blue tear stone ring, which, I don't know, isn't that great, but it's there, so I equipped it. Um, and then he also dropped, let me show you here, the Black Knight Sword, which is one of the better weapons in the game. So, um, I think we're going to try to boost our stats up so we can use that. We need to get uh, 20 strength and 18 dex, so we're a ways off, but... Shouldn't be too far out of reach. Um, I was kind of feeling sorry for myself as well, uh, because I picked the knight as the starting class, um, and I kind of intended to go into sorcery as well. And this is pretty much one of the worst classes for doing that, but I think karma sort of got her back there um, and gave us one of the best melee weapons in the game. So I just decided to go all in, and as you can see, I did equip my Ring of Favor and Protection. Um, which is a 20% boost to, um, I believe, uh, Vitality, Stamina, and Equip Load, maybe? Let me see what it actually does here. HP, Stamina, Max Equipment Load. So, um, if we ever take it off, we're going to completely lose it, but um, as you can see just by looking at my Health Bar and Stamina Bar, um, it's a pretty big difference. Um, and it also lets us equip almost all of our starting gear. We can't quite equip the arms yet, but I'm about to take care of this here with a soul pump. So I'm gonna equip, or I'm gonna move our endurance up by one point, and that should give us enough to equip all of our starting gear. Um, and then I'm just gonna pump strength, honestly, um, until I get to 20, um, and then I'll work on decks a little bit. Because um, we really do want to equip that Black Knight sword as soon as possible. It's really good. Uh, so as you can see, we are still under 50% equip load with all of our knight gear on. So that's going to give us a lot more survivability. Um, I think I'm going to use my portable souls here as well. Probably only needed to use the one, actually. I kind of didn't think that through. I think this will be a 1,000. Yeah, okay. That would have been enough for a level, whatever. Now, it's kind of stupid because the Drake Sword doesn't scale off of strength, so increasing our strength by two points there isn't actually going to increase our damage output for now. Um, but as soon as we equip the Black Knight Sword, we're going to be happy we did that. So, anyway. So, uh, we're here at... Um, Undead Parish still. What we want to be doing now um, is going down to um, Lower Undeadburg. And the way we get there is by um, going back to the... Um, I'm trying to think. I think we need to go back to right after we fought the Taurus Demon, and there was a locked door there, and I think that's where we go now to get to Lower Undead Bird. I don't know if, I think this is actually probably the long way around. I probably could have done this a faster way, but I, I might speed this up. We'll see. Because, yeah, now we're, now we're back at Firely Trend. I guess this is probably the path of least resistance. Um, this is... I don't know, we're going to fight the easier enemies going this way, but I think this is actually the long way, so... 
Maybe go the other way. Use the basement key there. Now, I suppose we could have come up the steps from that other bonfire, uh, but then we would have had to deal with the dragon again, uh, and I don't really like that. <laughs> I feel like we would have taken a lot of damage from the fire. So, anyway, um, we can go down here. And this will lead us to Lower Undeadburg. I wonder if it was called Undead Bird before there were zombies, or if they called it that afterwards. Anyway, uh, if you go up this way, you can unlock a shortcut. Back to this room. Oh, and that guy is out and about now. That's weird. So anyway, um, there's our bonfire over there, so... Um, I'm actually going to use the bonfire there, because there's a pretty good chance that we're going to die coming up, and this is easily the fastest way to go, so. Having that shortcut is super nice, by the way. quickly in this armor. Very nice. Making a lot of clunky noises though, so I don't think we're really too stealthy anymore. That's fine, we can take some punishment, which is a good thing, because we're going to need to be able to take some punishment coming up here. Alright, so I like to wait on the stairs here, because these dogs are going to get you. I really hate swinging like that. In the wall. Super irritating. Now these dogs, um, I don't know if they poison you or what, but they definitely do uh, some sort of status effect, which is real great. Um, there is a third dog that won't rush you, so just be aware of that. Um, there it is. Alright. Somebody. Please let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn, I'm finished. How did this ever happen? Need the residence key for this, so make sure you buy that. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. So, um, he will now teach you sorcery at Firelink Shrine. Hello. So, I have my besides, I'm going to do that. Leave the soul. And you've got a sorcerer hat, clothes, boots, and a catalyst. So, um... 
There are other, you can buy a catalyst already up at this point, um, but it's for free here, so that's what you should do. The list uh, is a magic wand, in case you were wondering. That's what allows you to cast spells. Um, come back here, and there's something we have to do here, but I don't know. There's some items. So why not? These enemies aren't going to give you trouble, so. At least I really hope they aren't going to give you trouble. These guys give you trouble. You really need to probably move into your life and play a different game. At least by now. The only thing these guys have got going for them is there's a lot of them. A twin Humanities, which is kind of one of the weirder items in the game. Uh, it's, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's two Humanities, but... Um, it's a separate item from humanity, so instead of just giving you humanity times two, uh, you, you, get, you get a two in humanities item. So, I don't know. That's just the way it works. Now, I bet this is going to warn us about some kind of trap. Imminent pincer attack. So, um, those doors will open as soon as you get to about here. So, we want to run back. There are going to be three enemies, and two of them will be behind you. Got these, uh, I don't know really what to call them. They're kind of like rogues, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that is. What is that? Yeah. I fell for that. Um, they will backstab you if you attack them when they're doing that. So that's really not good. I have no idea what that crab looking thing is. That is weird. I've never seen that before. So we'll have to find out. I have no idea what that thing is. I have absolutely no idea. Get a twin humanity from it, I guess, though, so whatever. How weird. I'm gonna have to look that up. I've never seen that before. I wonder if they added that in for this edition of the game. Anyway, get a mail breaker. I've never used it. I don't know much about it, but there it is. All right, um, this is a little bit tricky. Um, I think there's like an alleyway or something where guys can come out to. Oh no, we just have more doors and monsters. guy in a barrel? No, oh, come on. Just let me see a guy in a barrel look behind you, I guess. Um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anytime you see a guy in a barrel, uh, break the barrel, and probably you want to roll into it in case it's going to get alive, but anyway. Uh, there's usually an item. You have the thief mask and the black leather set target shield. Nice light armor. Now, through this door is one of the worst boss fights in the game. I'm not going to go down th going through there yet because there is a shortcut that needs to be taken advantage of. So there's that guy there luring you out, and his buddy is right here. So just don't don't fall for that trick because he'll backstab you. Come on. There's an item down at the very end here. Can't go through this door yet. Um, the boss we're about to fight, I think, drops the key to get in there. Got a large soul of the lost undead. And there will be uh, an undead archer up here, so just don't 
take too long in this room when you first get in there if you want to avoid getting shot with an arrow. And we've got this guy right here is actually a merchant. Um, we can get um, basically items that will heal status effects. So we've got uh, bleeding, poison, poison and toxin, um, and then some other just miscellaneous items. There's not really anything in here that we really need to worry about. Um, it is good to note, though, that um, this character does sell purging stones, which will break the curse uh, if you get cursed, which is horrible. I'm pretty sure they're more expensive here than the guy on the top of the bell tower, but, you know, there they are. You can also buy some specialized arrows and bolts here, but we're good on arrows. Now, if this looks familiar to you, it should. Because coming up here is this locked grate that we couldn't get through before. Now we can open it on this side, and this will lead us back to Fire Lake. So that is creating yet another shortcut. And I think this shortcut is super relevant right now, since we're going to have a tough boss. And when I say a tough boss, I mean like a very, very difficult boss. I don't want to ruin it by falling off the edge here. That would be really good. Alright, so we're going to make our way back down to Firelink. I guess, but it doesn't matter too much because we've got heavy armor, and these guys are very weak. Right, there's our new friend here. Oh, hello. Teach us spells. Oh, hello. Terrific. And pray that. Presumably. Oh, hello. Terrific. And pray. Yeah, not yet. Okay. Well. You will eventually, I promise. I think you've got to have higher intelligence, actually. I think with my intelligence of 9, he's not going to be this anyway. Uh, use whatever souls you can here, because again, we're all going to die. Now, you can go into human form if you want here to try and summon somebody to help you in this boss fight, which may very well be a really good idea. I'm going to try it once by myself. But I think I've got a pretty good strategy. And uh, hopefully it works. One thing I probably will end up doing too, um, and I don't think we can get one yet, um, but if you happen to have a pyromancy flame at this point, it's probably a really good thing to have for this next boss fight. Uh, I kind of wish we had more range, because there's uh, a good opportunity to use it coming up. But I think we can get by without it. it might just be a trial and error exercise. I don't think that rat ever will really draw aggro on you, so I guess you don't have to kill it, but there's a pretty decent chance it drops the humanity, so I always like to go in there and slap with my sword. It always, always seems unnecessarily long. Alright. We get our archer friend here. And we have our undead assassins, or whatever these guys are called, rogues. I don't know if they're actually called, but they seem pretty roguish. 
Now, um, the dogs that attacked you in that upper hallway will be right here waiting for you. So be prepared and take them out. Now, before you go in here, um, just make sure that you're healed up. And make sure that you've got... Okay. I don't think we're going to take out our bow, but just in case, I want to make sure we got it. All right, so as soon as you run in, you're going to want to run forward slightly to the right, usually, and jump. That will usually get you around that attack, and then run up the stairs. The really horrible thing about this boss fight um, is the room that you're in. And the fact that you've got these dogs with you. Um, the boss will do a ton of damage to you. Um, but he's actually not that bad on his own. Um, yeah, okay. This is probably going to be bad, yeah. Okay, he was behind me. I thought he was up top. So as you can see, it's a very claustrophobic room, uh, bad camera angles, um, and then two ads that will inflict bleed damage on you. Um, you really just need to get to a point where you are able to pick off the dogs, and as soon as you can do that, the fight becomes a lot more manageable. Uh, I'm going to try it one more time on my own, and then I might try to get a player character to help us out, but anyway. You just watched me do all this, so I'm just going to fast forward this part. And we're back, so let's try this again. So I think we're going to be okay. He will chase you up, and you don't want to be up there with him. Um, you want to try to stay up here, and if you are a spellcaster, you can kind of hide in this corner and uh, sling some spells at him. If he goes halfway up, jumps at you, um, and falls down, he will about half the time hit your sword or your shield. Uh, or you if you're not holding your shield up, so just be aware of that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> make, make sure you've got a shield up or you might be sorry. Oh, see, you can do a ton of damage. If you're not ready. Um, so, yeah, you want to try to get him to come up the stairs, and if he goes halfway and jumps at you, see, like, there, hit my shield. Um... And if you're a tank character, you can just wait for him to do that, and then just do plunge attacks. So, that's how I beat him. Um, it's rare that I beat him on the first try, so, like, that time it took me two times. Um, but that's a pretty good strategy. Um, I have hit up there before and fired soul arrows or, you know, uh, whatever the first level pyromancy spell is, and you can get off most of his health doing that you most likely will have to engage him unless you put a lot of points into intelligence uh, or leveling up your parents as well, though. So, anyway, uh, that is how you beat the Capra Demon. Um, I will say, uh, if you are not wearing thicker armor, uh, that fight can be a little tougher because he will kill you very, very quickly. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing pretty heavy armor, and he was taking off half of my hit points through my shield at certain times. So, um, yeah, don't give up. It is possible. Um, I probably had to fight times the first time I, I, I fought that boss. So, uh, again, it's avoiding the initial assaults, because if you're not ready, you'll probably die before you even knew what you were doing in this room. Um, and after that, you have to prioritize killing the dogs. 
if you can't kill the dogs, you probably are not going to last very long. Uh, but take them down first, and you should have a pretty easy time with Kappa Demon. Um, anyway, um, the key that we just got unlocks that uh, locked basement door that we just ran past. Uh, I'll show you which one I mean, if you don't remember. Um, and that's where we're going next. Um, if you have the... Actually, I should have pointed this out before we did this. If you have the master key, I don't think you technically need to even fight the Capper Demon. Um, you can just sort of take a back entrance to Blight Town where the other bell is, and I think you can just go do that. Um, but there's some good items, and it's it's still worth going down here, I think, unless you're trying to go for speed. So this is the door that unlocks the next zone, the deaths. So that's what we're going to be doing next time. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you beat Capra, uh, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, share the video, and I will see you next time when we go down to the depths.